Slim tomatoes, thinly sliced lemons, and garlic oil on a puff pastry. What could be better? I don't know. But on this episode of Taste of Melrose, we are gonna do a tomato lemon tart. We're gonna take our lemon and slice it super, super thin because literally I'm going to layer the bottom of the pastry with the entire lemon, rinds included. So one lemon sliced uber, uber thin. I wanna take out all the seeds and make sure that that we are not invited to this party. Next, we're gonna take three heirloom tomatoes. Now this is gonna be such a pretty pastry. So I like to use the multiple colors of tomatoes if they're out there, you know. Same thing, we're gonna slice them thin. So let's get our green one now. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. So gorgeous. That guy. Next, we are going to roll out our frozen pastry dough, which I've thawed. Now, I'm gonna just sprinkle my board with a little bit of flour so we don't stick. So. And let's just get our rolling pin here. It's nice and floured. So let's roll this guy out. It's gonna be really pretty no matter what shape it is, so it doesn't really matter, but. Okay, so I've got one of these very convenient Silpat baking mats that goes right into my baking sheet. So it's gonna really allow my puff pastry to not stick. So the next layer to my tomato tart is olive oil and garlic. So what I wanna do is get one or two cloves of garlic, depending on you know how much you like garlic. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna do two. Taking off the outer layer of my garlic, so I'm gonna grate this guy with my microplane. Awesome, fast tool, this microplane. So now I've got all of this as well. Two tablespoons of olive oil. So garlicky, Ooh, love it. Now with our pastry brush, we're gonna brush the inside of our pastry dough, but we want to reserve the outer edges. Really get all that garlic in there. We are going to put our lemons that we've sliced very, very thin. Spurse those. Basil, about a half a cup. I'm just going to tear it directly onto our lemons evenly disperse them over the lemons. We're gonna do our tomatoes. So I'm gonna do like a rainbow, and we're gonna drizzle this with just a little bit more olive oil on top, salt and pepper, and then it's gonna go in 3, 375 for 30 minutes. And now with our edges, we're just gonna fold it into a pretty little round, so just like rolling it over. I'm gonna place it in the oven. 375 for 30 minutes. It's gonna puff up and be so pretty. So my tomato tart in this gorgeous puff pastry is out of the oven. I'm gonna do a little creme fraiche, lemon and basil, kind of creamy drizzle over it. About a half a cup of creme fraiche, squeeze of half a lemon, and really what I'm looking for is consistency. Take my basil, what I do is I kind of layer them and stack them into each other, and then I roll them up like a little cigar. I can create really tiny, tight little ribbons with my knife. See? And then I'm gonna go over it one more time. Add you in. Now let's give this guy a stir. Mm, yes, please. <laughs> Perfect. That looks divine. 